All right, all right. Uh, Shalom, Makim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Recha Kodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwa. And I want to give uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word in our truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in this truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami camp and Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha Kodash, you know, uh, Adawan Rataza, you know, I mean, Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Recha Kodash, is going to be basically on how the trying thing of the wicked is short. Basically, Esau eating the so-called white man who is ruling right now. All right, his his uh pride, all right, and his uh pump, all right, is about to fall right, shortly, man. All right, his rulership, all right. The things that he boasts in his technology, the Lord is about to bring that down, man. All right. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. This is the book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 4. It says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Yes, yeah, so the triumph of the wicked is short. All right. And the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. So the Lord's about to bring this devil down. All right. He's been ruling. All right, which seems like a long time, but it's been a short time. All right, and the Lord in the scripture says Esau, you know, so-called white man is going to, what a devil, which we know the devil is Esau. He's a physical counterpart of Satan. He says he's going to come down having great wrath because he knows that he have but a short time. All right, and the Lord ain't let this devil loose for a season. All right, when he came back into the Renaissance, his Renaissance go back to the word rebirth, basically the revised Roman Empire. All right. To now, like you know, is is uh, is short, man. All right, the Lord's gonna take this devil out. It's Job chapter twenty and verse five. It says, in the NLT, it says, "The triumphing of the wicked have been short lived." So their trying is going is short lived. It says, "In the joy of the godless have been only temporary." Who's the godless people on earth, man? All right, East the Edomites. All right, they say there is no God, but if they, if, but if there was a God, it would be look like him. All right, that's why the devil about it. I mean, that's why the Lord's about to take this devil down, man. All right, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29. Proverbs, chapter 29, and verse 16 says, When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth, meaning sin upon sin, meaning wickedness, man. Let me turn the airplane mode on. Let me turn it off so I can. All right, Proverbs 29 and verse 60 says, When the it says when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases, but the righteous shall see their fall. And, and the Lord is going to bring this devil down. And that's one thing a man is uh, joyful of, man. So Rock 25. Can't wait to see this devil go down. In verse 7, it says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. In the tenth, I will utter with my tongue a man that hath joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. All right, we're going to see this devil fall down, man. All right, we're going to see this devil all right, in shackles and never rise again. These these are false Israelites. You're saying is the, uh, Esau, Edom, as a thousand years, going to try to rise up and, and take the kingdom from us. Are you crazy? Man, we're going we gonna to have new bodies. Scripture says they shall not learn war anymore, man. After a thousand years, we're gonna burn them devils up. Alright? The Lord's not playing with Esau. The Lord's not playing with this devil, man. Alright? Job 20 and verse 6. Though his excellency mount unto the heavens, and his heads reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. Yeah, though he what? Be prideful. Alright. Alright, though he got one of the space stations. Alright. He got all this technology, but the Lord said he's going to bring him down. He, he shall perish forever like his own dung. Like if you take a number two, take a shit and you flush it, you never see it again. That's how you're going to see these Edomites, man. 
it says, they which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. So the Lord is going to get rid of this devil, man. All right, and his time is, is, is shortly at hand, man. All right. Joel 21 and verse 17. How often is the candle of the wicked put out? Because the Lord is going to put this devil out. And how oft their destruction come upon them? The Most High disputed distributors arrows in his anger. So the Lord's going, what? Send these missiles on these devils, man. They are as stubble before the wind and as chaff that the storm carrieth away. Because the Lord's about to, hey, get rid of these devils. The Most High layeth up his nicky for his children. He rewardeth him and he shall know it. Because what? The scripture say, uh, let's get it. I'm going to go back to that Joel for the new listeners. Joel 14, 21. Prepare slaughter for their slot prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will raise up against them, said the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name, the remnant, and son and nephew, said the Lord. So the Lord said, Prepare slaughter for them. All right, and the Lord's gonna ultimately get rid of these devils, man. All right, so back at Joel 21. The red people. Job 21 in verse 20. His eyes shall see his destruction, and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. The Lord said, All the drink, all the, the cup of the wicked, all all the they're gonna drink it. Let's slack it. Let me get it right quick. Psalm 75 in verse 4. I said unto the fools, did not foolishly, and to the wicked, lift not up the horns. So don't let be prideful. All right. Lift not up, lift not up your horns on high. Speak not with a stiff neck, for a promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south, but the Most High Yahweh Shemashia is a judge. He put it down one and set it up another. So rulerships, empires, I right, fall and rise because of the Lord, man. For uh, but the Most High is a judge. He put it down one and set it up another. Verse eight. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup. And the wine is red, it is full of mixture, and he poureth out of the same, but the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. So Esau Edom got to drink that cup. Was well, Job uh Jeremiah 49? It says, They who judge me was not to drink of the cup have surely drunk it, and shall not ye all together go unpunished. Esau Edom, you're gonna have to drink that cup, man. That cup of slavery, that cup of trembling. All right, you gotta drink that. Verse 9, but I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the power of the Most High. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off. So this wicked, but this devil about to be cut off. But the horns of the righteous shall be exalted, man, the power of the righteous. All right, because the Most High is a, is a righteous power. All right, the Lord's about to judge this devil for his works. All right, um, let's see what else we got. All right. Verse 20, Joel 21 and 20, his eyes shall see his destruction and he shall drink of the wrath of the almighty. For what pleasure have he in his house after him when the when the number of his months is cut off in the midst? So the Lord said um, he's not going to go past the bounds which the Lord set. All right. And when he's about to fill his belly, hey, that's when the, when the Lord going to rain fire upon this devil, man. All right, so Esau Edom, a so-called white man, his triumphing in his short. And ultimately, after a thousand years in the kingdom of heaven, all right, the Lord's going to burn him up. All right, pursuant to Obadiah verse 18. All right, this devil has no chance of repentance. He's going to slavery. All these Edomites, if you identify as an Edomite, all right, don't matter how you look because Esau is scattered amongst the nations too. All right, if your lineage go back to Esau, hey, you're doomed. All right, even the Son of the Compact Bible Dictionary tells you about that. There's no place for repentance unto Esau. All right, that their nation is the wicked that the Bible speaks of. And we read the book of Mal uh, Maccabees. Well, Malachi, the first shot to tell you that also. But the book of Mac Maccabees, first, Mac Ma first Maccabees, after Alexander died and his four generals a, um, took rule, a transgression increased. Wickedness, evil multiplied on the earth. All right. 
But this devil about to go down. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Shah about to take this devil down and exalt right, the nation of Israel, man. So, Lord, when in this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rechach Kodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwo. And I want to give a peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lakakim. That's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Makim, keep pushing, keep it doing, Shalom.